kickstart this initiative, 77 outstanding student leaders from 22 schools were handpicked to undergo a rigorous and structured six-month-long training program. They will put their knowledge into practical use in their schools and communities by initiating the three R's Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. Basically, Heroes program, it aims to build a network of environmental advocates. So we believe in nurturing the young and we believe that they are the change agent for tomorrow. The Heroes program starts with a five-day program for the students, including a boot camp. So they're going to be camping, they're going to be doing exercises about where their food comes and where their food goes to as well by composting it at the end. And then on top of that, we've also got outreach activities for them, social media, photography. And so all, all the kind of tools that they'll need as leaders to then go out and share the knowledge that they've gotten from this camp. We are here because we also want to learn from this program what the young people look for and how can we interest them further to actually develop interest and passion in this area. We have signed a five years collaboration with Canon and we hope that during these five years we're able to identify ways to improve this program to really bring it up to another level. Together as a community, we have built this sustainable living kampong at Border Tree Park Yishun. Every week we get people to do what we call balik kampong, to touch the earth, to feel the earth, to do gardening. Living in a kampong and having this entire new experience is very different from all the daily hustle and bustle life of Singaporeans. Water filtration, using pebbles, sand, gravel and even charcoal. And some farming skills like using the charcoal to loosen the soil. We just think about what people used to do before they had so much luxuries as we do now. Sleeping in a tent for two days is a really new experience, but at 3 a.m. I, I looked up in the sky and I saw really beautiful stars, and this is something I've never seen in any other part of Singapore. The team of us, we have thought about some certain changes that we can have in our school, like can we actually have dispensers instead? This way, we don't need to manufacture that many plastic bottles. So that ties back into where all their waste goes from so that they get an understanding of what it means to reduce or what it means if they don't reduce. They can actually see that waste build up. There has been a lot of education about this 3R messages but the reuse is the least being touched and this is the one camp they get their hand dirty and to practice what they have been taught. Now you can see at our SL Kampong, 90% of the material that have been built up it's through all those people who consider rubbish. So we give them a new lease of life. So by putting these participants from Heroes directly into an environment, they can see for themselves, wow, everything has been reused. Older generations and nail would fall out of their shoe, they go and grab a hammer, grab a nail, and they fix their shoe. That's reusing. And I think it's important that kids learn that. Here at the Heroes Camp, we're trying to forge some leaders by getting the kids to come out of the shell a bit more. To be a leader, you have to speak, and especially you have to be heard. To do that, you need to be brave, be bold. That's what I've learned, and that's what I'm trying to teach these kids. You know, we play little fun games who, on the surface, may just seem like a game, but then you, you look a little deeper, and you'll see that, yeah, you have to be able to understand your audience and, and to know when they're really connected, to really get your point across. What we are doing for now is practice the three hours in our skit, and it's like rubbish litter in the floor, and they do not want uh, rubbish to be on the floor anymore. So they are trying to burn it off. You know, if you are dramatic, right, and you put in a little humor, you can actually pass down the message behind your skit or your presentation to your audience. Or else they will think like, this is just another ordinary presentation and they will soon forget about it. Young people like myself wants to learn things that actually are very interesting and very fun. I can actually tell them how to learn about 3 hours through the social media and actually engage them in games which they are interested in. Social media really has that ability to amplify the whole impact. Now we are having this whole power in the hands of everyday people to be able to affect change and uh, because of that it's a very strong tool for you know any change maker. So we really want these youth to use social media to get the word out about the 3 hours. And so what I just taught them was how to measure that kind of impact. Did they reach a thousand fans on Facebook? Did they actually make a ripple across social media? And the more they do that, the more they feel empowered. And they already are on these sites, they're already using them, so now they're just using them for a good cause. Teenagers nowadays use a lot of technology, 
I suppose that we can use the Canon cameras to like take a video or anything to and post it on the web. A picture speaks a thousand words, so isn't it better to use photography than articles? That's what I believe in. So using the Canon Photography Workshop, I learned a lot of photography skills and how to make best use of a camera in showing people what something really means. <laughs> Our number three stands for recycle. Example like aluminum can and plastic bottles, paper from the one that we have reused. We can have like a campaign that involves the whole school to actually practice the triads and then uh, recycle their materials in school so that we can actually reduce them in future. What I would like to introduce in my school and in my community is a long-term event that engages every step of the community and the school. The camp might actually benefit all my schoolmates, my classmates, my friends and also maybe I can take a step up by actually talking to my teachers and holding just a short assembly talk. We can already see over the, the three days how much these students have changed, how much more outgoing they are, how much bolder they can be. And I don't see any reason why that won't continue over the next six months as they develop their program more, as they push themselves further. I have managed to learn so much more beyond just the farming skills and saving water. I think it's really the values that I've gained that makes it so valuable. Without one, you can't do anything. All the three A's are important to me. Now after the camp, they're going to be going back to their schools, back to their communities, and taking their learning to create a program. We already set pretty high expectations for these students, and they've exceeded them already. I think there will be things that come back both from them, and also as their teachers feed back to us, that will take us by surprise, in a good way.